Hey, it's Pulse here for Pioneer, and today's video is a walkthrough on updating the firmware on the XDJ RX, as well as configuring the unit for use with Record Box DJ in performance mode. So, first things first, if you haven't already grabbed the latest firmware, go to pioneerdj.com slash support and grab the firmware. Uh, the latest version I've got is 1.80, and that happens to be the version that's already installed on this particular piece of uh, hardware, but we can still give you the sort of general instruction on how to do this. Uh, so when you download this file, it's a zip. And it's important to extract this, whether you're on Mac or PC, you need to unzip it. Uh, I'm going to show you just right click and extract all, put it in a folder. You can't use the zip file, you have to use the file that's located inside, which is a UPD. I'm going to take my flash drive, connect it into the computer, and this is going to be the only file on this particular drive, but if you have other files, just make sure that there are no other UPD files in the root of the flash drive. It has to be formatted to FAT32 or a, I believe HFS Plus will work as well, uh, but that has to be a boot mode. So I'm going to then take that drive out, and now we press the button Secret Kung Fu configuration to get the unit into update mode. It's USB 1 stop and reloop exit on the left side. Press and hold those buttons while you turn the power on and a message will come up on the screen. Connect the USB storage device into the USB 1 port. So I take my USB drive, plug it in. Now it's going to flash over to the sort of the progress bars. Mine has already been installed so it'll, it'll show me the message right away that it's completed. Normally you'd see little red bars race across completing that update. Once you're done, turn the power off, disconnect the USB drive, power back up. Now for those of you watching this video just for the firmware update, that's it, you're done. You can go into the utility and confirm that this is uh, taking taken effect, 1.80. Uh, but for those of you who are going to watch to configure it with Recordbox DJ, let's carry on. So we're going to go into that utility menu as well. There it is, version 1.80. The other thing we want to do is go to mixer mode. We're going to change it from XDJ RX over to MIDI control. This is important because without that being a MIDI control, the audio won't come through properly on these channels. Some people have complained about uh, it doesn't work properly. Well, it's, this is one of those things you need to do. Press the menu button to get back out. And now I need to install some drivers. I've never used this hardware with Windows before. This happens to be a fresh installation of Windows 10. So I've already got Recordbox 4.0.4 installed here. So I'm going to go and grab the drivers that happen to come along with it. So if we go into the C drive, program files, x86, into the Pioneer folder, into the record box 404, into the drivers, you'll see xdjrx. Double click on that one and walk through the driver installation. If it prompts you along the way for allowing the uh, security for the Pioneer uh, drivers in future, you can say yes. I've already done that, which is why you don't see it pop up here. But now that I've got that all complete, I can take my USB cable and plug it in. All right, so now we're ready to, uh, to launch into Recordbox, but if, uh, if you have any problems with this, uh, as I have on this particular computer, uh, what you may want to consider doing is unplug the USB from the, uh, of the RX after you've done that initial connection to get the device drivers up and running. Uh, simply for the fact that uh, in mine, Recordbox seems to, uh, to crap out. Now, I'm also running this on an older spec computer. I've uh, forced updated everything into uh, Windows 10 here. So, open up Recordbox, and uh, it's important that you switch over, whether you're in trial mode or in a full license, into the performance mode. And because we're using the XDJRX, we want to have the mixer panel visible because the line channels are only going to come through here. Uh, the line channels do not light up on the mixer. You only see the master will illuminate there. So I'm going to go ahead and take my USB now and connect it back into the computer. So now you'll see in the bottom left corner of the uh, screen that um, the RX was detected, MIDI. So I'm going to go ahead and press the MIDI button here and it says push the load button for each side. So I load those up and connect them in. If you didn't have the mixer internal set to MIDI control, you would see that it was gray here. So let's go into the preferences and verify that everything is configured properly for the RX. And I can see here it's under ASIO, which is correct for Windows. You do not want the line, which is the two channel output. You want to have it make sure it's the ASIO so you get the multiple outs here. So the masters can be one and two, 
headphones on 3 and 4, and I can see my control device information shows the RX MIDI. The defaults for the rest of this should be okay. I'm going to close that off and now I can actually use the RX to load up a track. So I can see that the faders have matched uh, in the hardware and software, but should you have some that are like the software is up and the faders, the hardware is down, just give it a wiggle, it'll pick up and it'll be okay. Now I can see that I've got output to the master and I've also got output for my headphones. I'll try the other side just to make sure everything's still working. And I've still got output for the other channel on my headphones. So that's it. It's all great. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and as uh, Pioneer has told us, we are going to see updates in the future to have the display show additional track information and possibly even the waveforms. So if you have any other questions or troubles, find us in the forums, forums.pioneerdj.com. My name is Pulse. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.